I'm Salome Kelly. I'm an entrepreneur and I help other people in business to get online and to use the power of social media to grow their business. We know Facebook, we know Twitter, we know Pinterest, we know Instagram and the latest thing on Instagram is stories. Um, and I watched an interesting post with Charlene Johnson yesterday and she said, just hold on, don't jump in just yet. So, <laughs> before I do. Anyway, so today I really want to just talk about how not to use social media in your network marketing business. <laughs> how not to use it in your network marketing business. So, I often get added to a lot of Facebook groups. I get added to a lot of um, network marketing events online. And I absolutely love it. I love the fact that you're so passionate about your network marketing business. I get it. I understand it. Me too. I'm passionate about my business. But you don't know who I am. What's happened is, what's happened in a lot of coaching, what I'm seeing from a number of MLM companies, is that they are being added to a number of groups so I'm constantly being added to this group, that group, various groups, and they just added me. Don't know who you are. You don't know who I am. You don't know if I'm interested in your products or services. So why are you adding me? Don't add me. I'm passionate that you're passionate about it as well, but I'd like to get to know you a bit more. So again, it's all about building relationships. So if we're in this business to build relationships. We're in this, rela in this business to, to start conversations. Start a conversation with somebody. You're not in it to go in there with your purse. You're in it to make a, a new friend before you start to get in there with your little handbag and say, buy my stuff, buy my stuff. So it's all about building relationships. So build your relationship with... <laughs> oh, we have a when you go live. Um, build your relationships with your customers. Second of all, second thing I want to do is it needs to be personal and professional. So you're building that relationship, you're building trust. So it's a no like, and trust with your followers. And you're being a professional network marketer, you're not spamming. I've been added to a number of groups recently. I've been, I mean, I've actually lost count. And it's taking my time now, I'm having to go in my settings, leave the group, unfollow the group, and ban me from being added to that group again. So. Build a relationship. If I want to be added to that, if you want me to be added to your group, invite me, send me a personal message. Build that trust, build so I know who you are and I can either accept or decline. And also the same thing is for events. If you're having an, an event and the power of social media is so good that we can invite people to our online events, but the, the key thing is, is that you have to, just like before we had Facebook, before we had any kind of social media, you would quite happily write an email or you would send an actual personalised invitation. So even though we've got new age technology, let's go back to our old traditional ways of connecting with people. So if you're having an online event, send the people, send your customer or your person you would like to invite a personal message. So it could be through Messenger or it could be through like a, a WhatsApp send them a personal message so that they, they have the opportunity to either decline or accept. So, further ado, <laughs> that's all I wanted to talk about today was to build that relationship with your customer. Build that relationship. Don't just add lots of people into your groups because it then becomes spammy. And not only that, it affects the rest of us who are in the network industry, who are, do, who are trying to build our online businesses the right way but because a certain portion of people are just being added, it just becomes spammy. And then it's very unlikely that they will buy from you. So if, they, if you want to add people to your group, the recommended way is to have a conversation with them first hand, then invite them, and then they can either accept or decline. Don't just mass add people to your group. I mean, this morning alone, I was added to a number of groups. And I love all of the groups. I love them with the passion and I'm happy that you are passionate, but I have no idea who you are. I don't know who you are. I just know I was added to a group. What is this about? I didn't ask to add, add to a group. So again, build relationships, build trust, know, like, and trust. They're the three key things. Know, like, and trust. Get to know the person, get to like, they'll get to like you. 
then they'll get to trust you before they will buy into your, your services or products and your business. But that's all I have for today. If you have liked this short little live video, with a little interruption just there, <laughs> whenever you go live, <laughs> um, definitely please share this with your followers, the little share, social button, my share button down below. And also in the link above, I have my link to my upcoming website, which you can get on the VIP list. And in that, inside that VIP list is an actual Instagram training, which you have exclusive rights to. So please click the link below, above, and I shall see you tomorrow. Go rock it, everyone. Bye. <laughs>